um, about my account, um, Pocket Seven Games, and uh, how I have struggled for so long, and I was having so many losses, and I was playing against a lot of tough people, but yesterday was just my day. I had a 14 win streak and came back and won a $50 match. I uploaded that. Feel free to go check it out. Show support to it because that was an insane game. And I was a very tough opponent. But as you can see, a lot of wins. I've modified my strategies and I've learned so many times. I had tournaments that I've won and I beat like a lot of hard people. I got second place for this. I got 30 cents. Tournament is up to how many people? See? So it was a lot of people that I was going against. And this just shows that you can't give up. You got to visualize. You got to believe in yourself. You got to build up your confidence. And I'm telling you now, the reason why I'm playing good the way I am now and professional is because and I'm still not professional. I still have a long way to go. I'm getting there. I'm getting to my goal. My goal has always been to have 130 something dollars in my account playing just off of my my games with a small deposit just playing off my, my games and um, huge recovery from losses with dunk shot. I was doing terrible with dunk shots. You could see I had a lot of losses and it was frustrating me and I didn't know why and I I started really practicing ticket games. The ticket games are your answer. You have to play a ton of hours in just ticket games to get confident in your ability to be able to defeat harder people. Because in these matches where you're seeing, I've won all this cash, right? All these different difficult opponents, the way they're scoring, how they beat me, they defeated me the tournaments etc i mean it just shows a lot but this is the update of how well i'm actually doing i'm really getting there and i just want to show this to you and let you see how many ticket games i've played you see it's all about the tickets it's all about the tickets it is because at the end of the day these are your friends. They will save you. They'll help you develop your strategy. They'll help you modify the problem, how to fix it. And it teaches you to really work with yourself and your ability to be able to bring out your skills when you need them the most. So when you come close to doing a very challenging and very hard game like this, 50 bucks or 20 bucks or 10 bucks or whatever, you'll be ready. I was sucking on Bingo Clash. I was getting my butt whooped. I was getting worked. They were tearing me up. Left and right. I could not defeat an opponent for a dollar. But until I started practicing other ticket games and getting my strategy down, not listening to other people's videos, that didn't help me. There was one person, uh, shout out to Money Man. He helped me a lot. But just understanding how to dob the numbers you got to do it quickly, you know. You got to have excellent dabs because it it gets you at least 600 or higher score every time you dab excellent. If you dab fast or slow, then you only get like 200 or 300 is half your score and you won't win like that. You have to try to get a perfect dab every time. If you dab if you dab without the number being called, you'll get penalized like 2 or 300 points and that really hurts you. So it you really have to watch yourself. You can't get nervous. You have to believe in yourself. You have to be calm, patient. Look at all these ticket games I played before I even prepared for the $50 match. You see this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I had like a 14 win streak and I felt so confident. I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I, I got good luck, right? There you go. Got the 50 bucks. So I hope that this helps you for, look, for the people out there, the gamers out there, right? For you players that want to earn a good living on this or make good money 
some good side cash money, whatever. Hustle, the grind, right? It's all about the grind. It's all about the tickets. These are my tickets. It's 259000 I just did um, some scratch cards, right? The 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 gym, the, the lucky gems right here. And I got $20, which was so shocking. And then right after that, I got $5 out of the lucky um, cards, which is extremely rare. That's never happened to me. I only got a dollar, not 20 so it's your it's your chance of luck. The, the person you could go against, they could be better than you or they could be worse than you. But you have to focus on your strategies and you have to really bring it home. You got to treat this as it is a job. Like when you study, you have to learn and study the techniques and always go over the replays and watch it. Always go over the replays. What I did like on my $50 game, the way I played, like I played very, very professionally. Like when I go back over it, right? I see her, I see my screen. You see the two screens. I had, I was focused and I was confident. Look how fast I was dabbing and, and, and look at how quick I'm getting bingo. Look at the other person. Now she's doing good too, but my strategy won this match like i totally devoured her and she was a tough an opponent and this shows that if you can learn from your mistakes and not do the same thing over and over and over and over again then <coughs> you will win it is possible for you to come back from a hundred dollar loss and recover it's possible i've done it I did it. I did it. I, I've lost a lot of money on this app. I'm telling you. I've lost up to $80. I've lost $100. And I did not know what the problem was. I tried to find out for myself. I had to look within myself and I had to be confident. I had to know that th this, is, this is what it is. Th this, this is how it's going to be. See, I had to be fast. And I all oh, I had a full house. It's game over. She didn't have a full board. I had the full house. Therefore, I took the, the victory. So I hope that this makes it very um clarifying to you. Okay? That when it comes to these kind of matches. You have to modify the strategy. Look at what you're doing. Look what the opponent's doing. And study. Listen, I can't stress this enough. Study, 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 study. Don't get, get level-headed first. Don't think, oh my gosh, I want to do it. I want to win a $50 match. That's not realistic. You have to have a budget. Find a budget for yourself. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to put, so you put in like a $10 deposit, right? Okay, you put in $10 deposit, so that gives you enough to what? Do a dollar match, $2 match. You can do multi, you can do multi opponents, multiple opponents. I've done that where you can go against two, one, two to three people, but the fees are higher. Remember the entry fee for a dollar is 60 cents for two people. It's a uh, dollar, um, I think a dollar 20 or something. For three people, it's like $2.20 or something. So it's a bigger fee. If it's for $5, the, the entry fee for that is $3. Two people, it's like uh, $3.50. No, $3.60. Uh, three people, it's like $4.50. If it's $20 or $50, it's a lot higher. It's a lot higher. It's not just $30. With two people, it's literally like $60. It's a lot of money. It's a lot you have to put in for. So don't take your chances. If you're doing well and you're winning, withdraw the money. I'm telling you now, withdraw the freaking money. Save yourself so you can have some money for yourself and some cash to take home or do what you need to pay your bills, whatever. If you keep playing like I did and be stupid, you're going to lose it all and you're going to look dumb and you're going to be like, why did I do that? I'm telling you, this is a... a a guide for you and for the, the people that struggle. The struggling on this app. This is what you have to do. You have to take your time. 
You have to study matches all day if it comes to it. And you have to modify and figure out where your mistakes are, write it down, take notes, and figure it out. Look at what the opponent's doing versus what you're doing. These are a lot of tough opponents. These opponents are not easy. I saw an opponent when I was playing dunk shot, got the 4000 for a dollar match. They're very hard people. And the woman that I played, she was very hard. I was just focused and able to take her out quick enough before she got the full house before I did. Because she got the full house, it became over for me. It's whoever could get the full house before the other opponent. I was fast enough, I was quick, I was smart, and I knew exactly what to do. So I can't stress this enough. For bingo tutorial, you need to make sure that when the number is called, if you do get it two times, you make sure you save the two times for the power up. But don't use it the wrong way. Use it when the number is called. When the number is called, click the power up as quick as you can and then dot the number fast. When the, the match is about to be over and you have two times, wait till like two seconds before the match ends and then click the dot. Don't do it right away because you'll lose all the points and you'll get up a really end up with a low score and you won't win. So that's I can't stress this enough. I hope this helps. I've learned a lot. You see, when I had was playing earlier, you saw what I was at, right? I was like, what at uh fourteen dollars? Then I jumped to thirty dollars. Then forty. Then I jumped to fifty. Then I got to ninety because I want a fifty dollar match. Then after that, I got a lucky with the lucky cards. I got a $20 and I got $5 and I also did the scratch cards and I got a lot of money from that. So it's all about your chances and your skills and how to play the game and really to know yourself. Okay, so I hope this helps. Good luck out there. Don't get discouraged. If you start sucking. Or if you're starting to lose, you're on, if you're on a big losing spree, get off the app right away. Take a break. Go to Skills Powered App or go to another uh, bingo app. Go to YouTube. Read a book. I don't know. Do something. Go for a walk. Take at least four or six hours away from the app. I'm telling you, it will save you. If you start sucking too, go back to just playing tickets for a couple hours. Ticket games, ticket games, ticket games. Build up your tickets because tickets can be converted to cash. I'm telling you, but don't 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 be stupid like I did and convert all your tickets to cash because when you're trying to get, it's harder to get tickets. It's harder to get tickets than it is at times to get cash because tickets are a, 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 a the you win, you win if you you get tickets, you can always play forever. And practice as much as you can to build you up for the bigger cash games. Especially with pro league tournaments. I'm going to try to get them in. But you have to get in those tournaments, you got to be winning. Like I won $50 matches in a row. Okay. I've, I've won a $50 match twice in a row. I've won a $20 match twice in a row. Three times in a row. But let me tell you. When it comes to this. It's a lot of practice. So I hope this helps you. Good luck out there. And uh, happy game, gaming.